Boom! What's up, Internet? How you guys doing? Uh, in this video, I'm going to review the Mad Cats Korean Edition Arcade Stick. Uh, Mad Cats has been very nice uh, to support uh, my stream and my channels and stuff, uh, and send over a bunch of those to sell uh, at a discounted price. Uh, we did have a setup like that a little while ago, uh, and they sold out instantaneously. A lot of people are interested in these Korean sticks, and as soon as those sold out, I got a shitload of emails and stuff asking me if we're going to get that deal again or what. Uh, so they have sent a few more uh, to sell at a discounted price. So keep your eyes out on avoidingthepuddle.com for that, and I will include links to that in the description. Uh, but other than that, I do want to discuss two things. I want to discuss uh, Korean sticks in general, as well as uh, this specific arcade stick. So uh, stay tuned and check that out, and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so there's a couple things that I want to talk about in this review, uh, for the first of which being... Um, I want to discuss what all the hubbub is about Korean sticks in general and why you would want a Korean stick in the first place and then I'll get into the specifics on this Korean stick uh, as it comes out of the box. So first of all, uh, Korean sticks in general have been a really interesting uh, entity in the fighting game community over the past uh, 10 years because um, 10 years ago you would uh, hear about Korean players being extremely good at execution and playing in such a um, really advanced way and it was kind of like a myth like oh, Korean sticks are if you play on a Korean stick you'll be able to move like a Korean and everything and uh, to some extent I was very skeptical about that for many many years uh, and a few years ago I was the first time I really sat down with the Korean stick and tried it out and saw what really uh, what's the deal with these Korean sticks and personally speaking though I do genuinely think that uh, all execution styles and all execution types are accomplishable on both Korean and Japanese arcade sticks. And I can verify this because I myself have been to Japan and I've seen Japanese Mishima players play very similarly in speed and execution to top level Korean Mishima players and they were using Japanese sticks versus Korean sticks. So I myself know that I've seen people accomplish the same things on both sticks. However, after playing on one extensively myself, I uh, I feel like the reason why everyone thinks that you can move faster on a Korean stick is really actually the fact that there is a rubber tensioner inside this arcade stick rather than a spring, which is what you usually get in a Sanwa JLF arcade stick. Now this stick right here is a crown, and generally speaking, all Korean sticks, because they have a rubber tensioner on the inside, they when you pull them to a direction and release, they return, they spring back to neutral very, very quickly. Uh, and that's what I suspect makes doing a motion like an electric or a wave dash or a Korean style back dash or whatever easier because the stick is actually helping you return to neutral. And anyone who's like a Tekken player or even generally speaking a fighting game player knows that neutral is a very, very important direction when it comes to your left hand execution because you have to be able to find neutral to get to your next command. Um, so it will return to neutral very quickly. Another thing about Korean style arcade sticks is that they come with a bat top as opposed to a ball top, which is what you see on Japanese sticks. Now, I suspect that because of that added tension and because of the fact that the harder you pull in one direction, the faster it will return to neutral, the bat top design is there so that you can use more of your fingers to actually control the arcade stick. I find that when I play on a Japanese stick, I generally use my index and uh, middle finger more than I use just generally all my fingers. But because of the bat top and because of the uh, the tensioner, you're going to want to use a lot more of your entire hand and more of your fingers to actually do the controlling of the arcade stick because of that tension. So uh, I, I like the bat top design on Korean sticks. It, it suits the feel of the arcade stick very well. Uh, those are basically the main differences when it comes to Korean and Japanese stick in terms of why you would want to get one. Now the popularity over the last 10 years has increased quite a bit and I suspect that has a lot to do with uh, the rise of the Street Fighter 4 player uh, infiltration from Korea. Now he's won many many championship, uh, you know, world championship level uh, tournaments and he's beaten the best in the world in Street Fighter 4 with a Korean arcade stick. So as you can imagine people who observe that and are fans of his as well as fans of Street Fighter 4 are going to take some interest in Korean sticks. Now uh, I assume that because of that 
Uh, Mad Cats has come out with this Mad Cats KE stick, Korean edition arcade stick. Now, so let's talk a little bit about this specific arcade stick. First of all, you'll notice that they are reusing the SE case, the Mad Cats uh, SE stick case. Uh, this case isn't bad. It's a little more compact than you, what you may be used to. Uh, but if you uh, look at just the entire history of arcade sticks, this is not the smallest arcade stick out there. And I'll give you an example right now. Uh, this arcade stick here is the Hori Tekken 4 arcade stick. Uh, and as you can see, it's quite a bit smaller than the, the stick that you have here, the KE stick. Now, here's another example. This arcade stick is the Mad Cats um, Fight Stick Pro. And this is basically going to be your typical size. This is uh, average what you get with, from a Mad Cats TE or from uh, Eight Arc Fusion or any of the average uh, size Japanese sticks. So when you consider that, you'll notice that this is uh, slightly smaller. So if your hands, if you're one of those guys who has really big hands, and a lot of people even struggle with the cases on the the larger arcade sticks. So if that's you, I don't know if this uh, this is going to be the stick for you. But other than that uh, size thing, this arcade stick really uh, functions quite well if you consider what's going on here. So out of the box, you're going to get a crown lever, which is a Korean style lever, and it functions very, very well. I find that crown uh, crown levers are very, very durable. Uh, when I play on a Korean stick, I really like to yank that shit, and I really like to uh, get the execution because you're playing on a case stick to do things faster so when you're playing on a case stick I find that you try to do your inputs as fast as possible to really take advantage of the Korean stick itself so because of that uh, you know I really like to yank on this and I really find myself pulling the arcade stick quite hard and they are very durable so I really really like that I don't feel that comfortable doing that on a uh, on a Sanwa JLF stick because I feel like if you pull on those things too hard you might fuck up the uh, one of the angles the spring itself might get you know um, damaged you know but I feel like these arcade sticks are really really durable when it comes to that and it really fits because Korean sticks usually even if you watch Korean players play on them uh, they really yank on that shit they p crank out those electrics and they really uh, it's all about speed and execution when it comes to these things uh, so I really like that it comes with the crown lever I really like the design I especially like that Mad Cats started making arcade sticks that aren't tied to a video game like a Street Fighter or whatever I like that they just say Mad Cats KE stick and it has the claw design or whatever the design is and it's not tied to a game because personally speaking arcade sticks are the things that you use to play a game they shouldn't necessarily be tied to one now I obviously understand that that's a business decision putting Ryu and Ken on a stick or uh, Jin and Kazuya or whatever but personally speaking I really like uh, just when the stick says Mad Cats KE Mad Cats TE or Arc Fusion or whatever it is I really like when it just says that and it doesn't have any other bullshit on it so this uh, stick does that passes that test um, Another thing that I really like about this arcade stick over the traditional Korean arcade sticks that you can buy otherwise are um, is that this arcade stick comes with Sanwa uh, buttons as opposed to Korean buttons which are like Crown or uh, I forget the, what the other brand names for Korean buttons are but usually Korean buttons feel very hollow and shitty. I really really dislike Korean buttons. I've never been a fan of them at all and I always prefer Sanwa buttons so this arcade stick comes out of the box with a crown lever which is what you want from a Korean stick and Sanwa buttons uh, as opposed to the crown buttons which is what you don't want from a Korean stick at least me I don't want uh, crown buttons so this arcade stick is gonna have exactly what specifically I want I really like this combination of a crown lever with Sanwa buttons works really well on top of that, the layout of the buttons on this arcade stick, stick uses the Vulix layout as opposed to the Noir layout. Now the difference between those two layouts, in case you don't know, is that the Vulix layout here is, and that's named after the cabinet, uh, the arcade cabinet design. So the Vulix cabinet has jab and short a little bit lower than forward and strong, and then it goes straight across, all the way across. Now, the Noir layout kind of goes, like, dips back down at an angle. So the Roundhouse and Fierce are going to be a little bit lower on the arcade stick than the uh, Strong and Forward. So this really isn't a big problem if you play Tekken, but if you play... Um, you know, Street Fighter or any other uh, six button game or even Soul Calibur because the K is typically over here, you're going to want, uh, at least in my opinion, I really like the Vulix 
uh, layout. Now, uh, all that being said, the rest of the arcade stick is actually very simple. There isn't a lot of features involved here. There's no handle up here. There's no door to, you know, store your cable in. Uh, none of that bullshit. It's just a really classic style arcade stick that makes Korean levers accessible by the masses. You don't have to go through, you know, some crazy website or, you know, this is Madcats. You know, you've, you trust them. Madcats has been around for years now producing quality products and out of the factory they're giving you access to a Korean arcade stick at a reasonable price. So, I really like that uh, about this arcade stick. There isn't really uh, any fluff. The, generally speaking, the more features you put on an arcade stick in the long term, if you're buying this as a real competitor uh, that is um, you know, planning on putting a lot of mileage on your arcade stick, the less features means that you're going to have less problems in the long run. And I'll give you an example of this. Uh, Hori has made an uh, arcade stick called the... Uh, Fighter's Edge, that's what it's called. And that arcade stick is really interesting and really good, and it has proprietary parts and stuff, which I like. Uh, I like that arcade stick as well. But the one thing that I don't like about that arcade stick is that it has like a touch screen panel on the side, in which w that's where you control all of the features of the arcade stick. Now, that's really cool, but in 10 years, or even in a few years, 3-4 years, that uh, that is going to break. There's no way that's not going to break over time. And that's really what I mean. Also, if you consider, a lot of the time I see people with arcade sticks that have those compartments where you tie up the cable and put it in there, and you know what happens, the compartment breaks off, it's usually made of plastic, and if it's not really, really well taken care of, like someone who goes to tournaments a lot, uh, you know, puts it in backpacks, pulls it out, and travels, you know, in luggage and shit. Those types of things will eventually break. So if you don't have those types of things, they can't break. So that is the upside to the simplicity of this arcade stick. Um, the, it does have all the turbo features that you want from all the standard arcade sticks. I think it uses the same PCB. Uh, so it's going to run in a very similar way as far as turbo. But other than that, you got start and select on top right here. A good placement, small buttons, so you're not going to accidentally hit start. You have a 13-foot long cable over here that is a good length. It's going to work out pretty nicely in terms of uh, as far as you need to sit from your screen. So that all works out. And other than that, you have an extremely simple product here that comes out of the box the way you want it. You have Sanwa buttons with a crown lever. You have access to a, you know the phantom Korean stick that everyone always talks about at a reasonable price and you don't have to deal with Ryu or Ken. So, uh, personally speaking, I think that this is an extremely uh, legitimate Korean stick. Really, really impressive. I mean, uh, you know, the, this is one of those things where as soon as I plugged it in, I was planning on, you know, doing other stuff and I ended up playing a little longer than I wanted to because you know it really feels comfortable and when you start playing Tekken or whatever Street Fighter you're into you're gonna notice that there are key differences in the the way the lever reacts to your commands um, and I really I enjoyed it I, I, I really like this arcade stick overall I give it a good I give it a solid five meat spins I mean why not it does exactly what they designed it to do. It's built in a durable fashion. It has a good weight to it. This bottom plate on the bottom really adds a good amount of weight to it. So if you set it on a table or if you set it on your lap, it feels very comfortable. Uh, it has the rubber stoppers to keep it from moving. Uh, and it's, you know, overall, I'm really, really impressed with this arcade stick. Um, if you want more information on how to get your hands on these arcade sticks provided by Mad Cats, uh, I'm going to have some links in the description. They also have provided us with uh, a bunch of them to sell through ATP at a discounted price. So huge thanks to them for that. Uh, so keep your eyes out. Uh, these arcade sticks are really, really cool, especially for those enthusiasts, those Tekken players or Street Fighter enthusiasts who are curious to see what this whole deal is about, but they don't want to necessarily uh, spend too much money on it. Uh, so check that out. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy.